free fixer for Windows. I first covered this around about two years ago, and at the time it supported Windows 2000 XP in 2003. Now it also supports 2008, Vista, and Windows 7. It does not support 64-bit versions at the moment. It is only available for 32-bit versions. But it's a free download and a free program to use. Simply download, run, and follow the prompts. You can select your language, click next, accept the agreement, click next, and just follow through. Now when you finish, it is pre-ticked to start when you finish. Click finish, and the interface will open up and it only takes a minute or two and if you want information about what it does and how it works there's a free fixer manual online which has a heap of information installed or written there and it will give you a great deal more insight as to what it does now what I will do I will minimize this a moment and I will install some malware and we'll see how well it works and I've got a little selection that I've downloaded and added to my collection and I'll go through and install all of this and I'll pause whilst I do that and then come back and as you can see I've installed all of this little lot so we'll run free fixer and you need to be careful because a lot of items are whitelisted and they won't show in the scan and there are other items that are green which are whitelisted and they're quite safe the ones that aren't green you need to be wary of uh, if you look at the online manual you can find a load of information one thing you may want to do when you finish your scan is to save a log of what it's found in case you run into any problems and go into the forum and present your log to have it looked at. Now we'll let this go through. Now whilst it does, I'll open up Process Explorer and kill a few processes. Uh, you can do the same through Task Manager, but I prefer to use Process Explorer. And these are processes that shouldn't be running. And simply kill the process and have done with it. And it will make removal much easier. These are programs that they're idle in the background but they're using a process somewhere and in this case they're actually using Internet Explorer sporadically and if I go back up to Internet Explorer and I end that process if you look at the CPU usage you will see how it jumps up so I'll kill the process and it increases dramatically and then it slows down again and this is the malware that's installed on the computer so I'll kill Internet Explorer completely now the scans finished and you need to go through this carefully you have the free fixer helper forum link on the page or on the program now this items green that's quite safe this one SDRA64.exe is definitely a malware infection. You can get more information just by clicking more info as I have done with Super Anti Spyware. And this will open up a new browser window and it will give you the product name, the company name, the file description, the internal name, uh, the digital signatures if it has any, and the hashes. And you can then vote to keep it or remove it and in this case I know the program to be safe so I will vote to keep it now if I go back here to free fixer I will tick the SDRA64 and scroll down through and see what it finds and we have a few items here uh, temporary files which they can be safely deleted and documents and settings desktop install October 01 another temporary file and so it goes on so you go down through the list and tick the ones that you know that shouldn't be there if any are suspect click more info first now NPF uh, it's malware using this one so I would tick that one and recently created or modified files most of these I can tick because most of these 
are the malware that I installed. On these are temporary files and folders, the installers, uh, system volume information, and so it goes on. And be very careful with what you tick. You, you need to be absolutely sure that this is malicious entries that you're deleting and just tick the ones that you need to remove it has found a couple of errors and this is problems with Firefox plugins and add-ons and that's no big deal so I will ignore that at the moment and just click fix and then click delete repair and it would then prompt you to reboot because as it says there is an error with a delayed removal please reboot as soon as possible and this is the SDRA64.exe which is locked by the system so I'll just do a quick scan again and when it's finished I'll save the log file and simply save that to your desktop or a location that suits you it's pre-named Freefixer log I already have one I'll overwrite it and when you open it it's in notepad and it lists exactly what was on the Freefixer program window in Notepad. And you can submit to this to the Freefix helper forums and they can help you to sort out any problems you may have. Now, what I will do before I reboot is scan with malware bytes anti malware. Now, the first thing to do obviously is to update check for updates, I've got the latest version, click on scanner, it's preset to quick scan and just let it run. And It's quick and easy, again it's free and it will find a few things that Freefixer didn't and it'll be interesting to see at the end of the scan just what it does find. So I'll let this scan, now if I minimize it a moment you can see that Freefixer has taken out all of the icons that were on the desktop so they've been removed. Now Malwarebytes has finished its scan. There's 36 infected objects. There's browser helper objects, Trojan fake alerts, backdoor bots, uh, rogue programs, password stealers, uh, rogue installers, more fake alerts, and so it goes on. Just remove the lot. And it pays to use another program. One to back the other up and again a reboot is needed to remove SDRA64 and LOSEC which I will do in just a moment. If you want any more information and download links you'll find them on my blog which is Free PC Security and you can find it at freepcsecurity.com